It's that time of the year, when people start taking down their Christmas trees and get into the Lunar New Year spirit. By now, you're probably in the midst of preparing various gifts for friends and loved ones. But like all celebrations, there are unspoken rules that people are expected to follow, or at least try to. While breaking these rules won't necessarily reflect poorly on your character, knowing what to do and what not to do goes a long way in showing people you care. Here are six rules to follow when giving and receiving gifts during Lunar New Year celebrations. 1. Pay attention to number symbolism. Image. Simon Harmer, Unsplash. Chinese superstition pays close attention to numbers, as specific ones may infer bad luck, while others can bring around the exact opposite. As a general rule of thumb, do your best to avoid giving gifts in quantities of four or any number that has a four in it. When pronounced, the number four, C, sounds a lot like the word for death, C. If you're looking for a really great number, eight is your best bet. It symbolizes wealth and success, things we all look forward to during the Lunar New. 2. Red is best. Image. Angela Roma, Pexels. Much like number symbolism, colors also play their own important role in Lunar New Year gift giving. Unless you want to be met with awkward stares, never. Package or wrap a gift in black or blue. Much like the number four, these two colors are synonymous with death. But wait. What about white? While the color doesn't technically correlate with death, it's highly prevalent in funerals, so it's just as bad to use. Unless you want to wish death upon someone, please don't. Red, yellow, and gold are your best friends, since they symbolize, surprise, surprise, wealth and prosperity. These color rules also apply to Ang Pao. Money packets. 3. Use two hands if you can. Image. China Internship Placements. When handing over your gift to somebody, make sure to do it with two hands, as any polite person would. This shows the host that you respect them, especially if they are older than you. The same practice applies when receiving gifts from someone. It shows the gift giver that you're grateful for the present and their presence. It doesn't matter how big or small the gift is, even if it's just a money packet, using two hands is the way to go. 4. Make sure to only give crisp bills in your Ang Pao. Image. The Edge Markets. This is more out of respect than necessity, since everyone likes fresh bills, right? While giving old, worn bills doesn't take away from the monetary value of your Ang Pao, it sure might leave a salty impression on the receiver. Most people will usually head to the bank to get their own stacks of crisp bills during this time, so it shouldn't be too hard for you to do. Unless, of course, you live too far from an actual bank. It's important to keep in mind number symbolism here too. Stick to even amounts of cash, not odd. And of course, keep the number 4 superstition in mind when figuring out the value of your Ang Pao. 5. After receiving a gift or Ang Pao, don't open it in front of the giver. Image. R-O-D-N-A-E Productions, Pexels. This ISNT Christmas morning by the Christmas tree, when it would normally be acceptable to open a gift in front of the person who gave it to you. Nope. During Lunar New Year, when receiving a gift, the best practice is to say thank you, as any normal, polite person would, and put the gift aside. While Western cultures might perceive this as rude or ungrateful, it's the exact opposite on this side of the world. But when can you open it? At a much later time, preferably when said gift giver ISNT even around. This applies to Ang Pao as well. 6. Oldest, or most senior, first. Image. The Straits Times. As is customary in most Asian cultures, the oldest members of a family, or the most senior, often get first dibs on anything and everything. This includes the receiving of gifts. Especially when giving Ang Pao or anything of significant monetary value, always look out for the oldest of the hosts. Sure, you could call this unfair. But, it's just how it works. Happy Lunar New Year, in advance. Read more life stories. Singapore cat climbs into a claw machine and becomes the best prize of all.
spice up your CNY with these tiger-themed stamps from Singpost. 8 Unusual Superstitions You Would Have Heard Of If You're Asian Cover image sourced from RODNAE Productions, Pexels and Angela Roma, Pexels.